<laughs> well, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for giving a few minutes of your time. Alana and Benjamin here um, for Entertainment Affair. I'm really excited to have you guys. I'm going to tell you, first of all, that I watched three episodes last night that got sent to me, and I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I absolutely <laughs> got hooked. I'm excited to see what happens. Me quedé con ganas de más after the third episode. So I am excited that you guys are here. First of all, bienvenidos, fellow Latinos. ¿Cómo se encuentran hoy? How are you guys doing today? Sí, sí, sí. Así, así. In spite of uh, la pandemia, etc. Uh -huh. yeah. Y uh, I, mucho encantada, mija. Encantada. Okay, primero que nada, let's go ahead and first congratulate you guys. Dos Latinos in Hollywood poniendo el nombre de los latinos en alto. Tell me about your participation on The Filthy Rich. For those that, you know, are going to be watching the interview probably prior to it starting in about a week. Tell me about that. Benjamin, go ahead and explain your character. Sure. In, in English or Spanish? Uh, you can do English or you can do Spanglish. Okay, well, um, so Filthy Rich takes place in the South with a very Christian conservative family, billionaires. And uh, the patriarch of the family dies in a plane accident, and he leaves behind three illegitimate kids. And I play one of the illegitimate kids. I'm a, a kid from, from Queens, New York, um, and I have uh, an amazing mom <laughs> on the show. Uh, so that, that's basically my, my part on the show, is I'm, I'm one of the illegitimate kids of the, uh, of the, that are, that are, that's coming in to... Uh, try to take a piece of, I mean, the, the money, but for my character, really, it's about finding some sort of sense of, you know, of, of stability and family and a lot of confusion and, and mixed emotions in between. Sí, todos los niños quieren la verdad. They want to yeah. know the truth. Very, very sort of oppressed family mm. and dynamic. And uh, we find all of these wild secrets about this, this patriarch of an empire that has been based on faith mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, and, and Christianity. And unfortunately, we peel the layers and realize that it really is, um, you know, they're all a bunch of, in, in many ways, because here are these people that are so unfaithful and they've been making money on, on believing and faith for years and years. And all of a sudden this family begins to implode and we go and find out that this man had many affairs, three of his mistresses got pregnant, had these children, and now with him being gone, he's left them on the will. So we're all here for our piece of the pie. This is where it and, becomes uh, a, so a soapy novella. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And my, t my son, who tends to be um, a more a people pleaser and um, impressionable and very kind because he, he does everything from his heart. Everything is from the corazón. And that's when I come in and decide. You he ne technically needs a stage mother. Yes. To direct him in a way that's going to get us the money we deserve. That's beautifully explained. <laughs> So, Alana, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I've seen you play several roles I love. Uh, throughout the years. Uh, obviously, not all of them, but I've seen you play a few. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is this the first role that you play an actual Latina? You know, it, it, it's, it's funny you say that. Um, it, I, I think it's the first role where I actually play a, a Puerto Rican. But I've always I've, I've played a lot of Mexican roles okay. and you know in 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 most pricks and you know it's up to you to basically decide yeah. where in Latin America you're from, where the character is from. But this was very specific. And that's what made me very excited about that. And I just want to throw out there that Alana and I are like best buddies now because oh, yeah. we are both Mexican and Puerto Rican. So this is exciting. <laughs> it's like she's like, we are, <laughs> she's like, we're a special breed and it's very true. So we are like best buddies now. We also um, are from the same area here in California. So it's very exciting to connect one on one. Oh, 
Pero gracias, Alana. Now, jumping to ben Benjamin, Benjamin, you are mm -hmm. from originally Guatemala. Yes. And I was reading up on you, and I was reading that you were originally going to move to Israel. And then you decided to move to LA to pursue your Hollywood dreams. And if I'm not mistaken, this was your first pilot. Mm -hmm. You got it. ¿Cómo pasó? ¿Cómo fue eso? Tell me a little bit more about that. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, I, I, um, I, I was born and raised in Guatemala, and I, I played soccer uh, for a big part of my life. And then um, when I broke my femur when I was like 12 years old, I, I had to kind of change it up, and I started getting involved in, in Krav Maga and self-defense. And I was going to go to Israel to, you know, to keep studying my Krav Maga and make, maybe make a career out of it. Um, but something just felt off, I guess, and it was just a spur-of-the-moment decision where I just decided decided to Wednesday and the next Wednesday I was already in LA not knowing where I was going to stay just it was really just like a like a more of an adventure for me I never really thought of acting as a profession uh, fly by the seat of my pants yeah it was just like yeah just like a change of life you know and and I arrived in, in this place and I I didn't know what to expect I just loved the the uncertainty of it actually yeah. and I think that's why okay. I think that adds a little to the adventure as well. Well, you're doing great. You guys are starring in this series that I told you guys I love. Um, and now I want you guys to tell me, how is it working with Kim Cattrall? She is. She's just yeah. remarkable. She has the gift of gab, as do I. She and I can sit and talk and talk oh. and talk and talk about anything. <laughs> I had, I had the pleasure of meeting her in the makeup trailer before I did the first scene with her. And she was so sweet and lovely and cordial and just a class act. She's always walking into a room and classing up the joint. She steps into the room for sure. And, and super yeah. sexy. And yes. <laughs> yeah. And she was very um, kind. Like um, when I first, when I remember when the pilot, the first, well, I think the second scene I shot was with Kim and, and then when we came back, when it got picked up for for episode two, my first scene was with her and she just took me aside and she was like, look, the camera loves you. Don't do much. You don't have to do anything, you know? And like, she would always just kind of like throw some wisdom around the set uh, that I would obviously. And she was, and she wasn't lying. The camera does. Okay, I, I, I was so lucky. <laughs> oh yeah, so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. When was the last time that you guys filmed, were together? January 13th, I, so, I believe. Yeah. Oh, it's been so long. I can't, I can't wow. believe it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Are you guys excited that it's finally coming out? We got I, one week to go. Oh my God. I couldn't be more excited. It's, it's, I, I really, I, all of this is so, I, I just, everything is so new to me, you know, that I'm, I'm just like. I think it's taking you by storm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I just want to end this with a last question. And, um, here in the United States, we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month starting tomorrow, which is now being uh, kind of uh, changed a little to Latinx um, Heritage Month. We start tomorrow. It runs for a month. I want you guys to tell me individually, what are three things that make you, be, uh, that make you feel proud of being a Latino or Latina? Oh, gosh. You first, my love. Sure, Would you like to sure. go first, um, Benjamin? I, there's a certain... Um, I, uh, that I have learned uh, growing up in Guatemala. And um, it's, even though uh, it's, it's sometimes a rough country because of the government and because of, you know, um, a lot of, you know, a lot of things that go, go on, um, the people are so happy. The people are so grateful and so humble. And I think that is one of, I think that is what I take the most pride on uh, from being from Guatemala. Uh, music, even when you hear the lyrics in Spanish, it, there is so much passion and yeah. so much um, love, and po it's so poetic. Uh, I think I love I love my language, and uh, I love I love the beauty of of the countries. But I mean, speaking specifically of Guatemala, I love my country. I love I love the history and uh, everything that we have overcome. I love it. I love that. Yeah. Alana? Yes. Um, for me. Having a Puerto Rican father and a Mexican mother, the people, and la cultura mm -hmm. of both of both of the island and of the country, and el sofisticación, mm -hmm. la cultura <laughs> on my shoulders like a badge of honor. 
I love because that. both cultures are quite sophisticated and a lot yeah. of people don't know that. They're unaware of the sophistication of Latin cultures. And it's so important for me to, 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 to carry those nuances mm. on my shoulder like, like a badge of honor because it's so many people that are unaware of the sophistication of each culture. And, um, and it's always my pleasure. I love that. I love that. And definitely we do all take pride in being Latinos and I take pride in having you guys represent us on the screen. Thank Felicidades. You. Me encantó su participación en la serie. And I can't wait to watch you guys again. I, like I said, me quedé con ganas de más after the third <laughs> one. So I can't wait about three Bye. four weeks from now to keep following up. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Thank you. Muchas gracias. So Un beso. Happy. Y un abrazo.